Hi guys, this is um, James Powell, a student of PO2517-3K, um, doing a, a video playthrough of my level. Uh, unfortunately I have already done this, but um, I've got an ultra-wide monitor and it cropped the screen, which was not very handy. Um, we start off in this very small room, I'm going to try and speed run this, but we start off in a very small room, we're introduced to the door mechanic, and straight away introduced to our first enemies, simple snippers, which will teach us that they swarm. We'll then see well, what if we aim? Three doors. We know if we try this, we need a green card, right? That's the first thing that's indicated. So we hit the switch, which only opens one door. We're then introduced to a, a harder enemy type, um, which shouldn't be too difficult to deal with, but should we be more inaccurate than I was there, not that you could be, you'll soon learn that um, we're move types. Again, ammo on the floor, teaching you about drops, and slime to jump over. Uh, teaching you about maneuverability and slimes and then we enter our first battle room which gives a new level of intensity to the game and what level we want to be working at. As you can see we can see a bit better how these grenade crams work in conjunction when they've got those slow down puddles really making it tricky for you alongside those snippers which can just be that bit trickier. Again you can see that I introduced a tactic of being cautious at the door which you know gives player a choice you could have stormed in there so do you wish and again we then find a small corridor with more jumping obstacles we then get to our first reward room which introduces us to a new weapon and then a green key card which allows us to open that green door and then into this room we then can try out the new weapon in the center room and deal with the first swarm of enemies. This room also uh, has health in the center to encourage the player well, I'm going to die to encourage the player to try and wade in instead of being cautious at the door. Uh, having said that I'm going to be cautious at the door because I don't have much health and at the end of this the player will be able to explore the room which I'll skip to momentarily. In fact, I haven't bothered finishing the room. I'm just going to show the layout by speedrunning this. This will then enter you into this corridor here, which will introduce you to said eye, first time weapons. As you can see, for some reason the enemies are glitching out. They don't seem to register that I'm there as quickly. And then we enter into this room. This is also the first tight room with slime in the middle. We then enter enemies in corridors, which is the first time. Getting used to fighting in tight spaces, more ammo drops and then an eye in the corridor. This enters into a battle room with a multitude of enemies. Again, you can see a blue door in the background. This allows us to indicate that there's probably places that we aren't are going to have to come back to. Um, I'm going to bail from this fight situation, which is always an option, though the snippers will track me down. Um, this enters into the first corridor, which has a multitude of slime pits and different puzzles to try and solve. Uh, this introduces you to uh, difficult jumping mechanics and trying not to take damage from slime. It also introduces you to supercharge but doesn't fully charge you, so you might not be tempted to use it, indicating what it is. We then move into this room here. Again, I haven't cleared out all the enemies in this room because I'm trying to show you as fast as possible. Um, obviously that is always an option, but it makes maneuvering around the map difficult and snippers uh, and other melee enemies will always eventually track you down so I am going to quickly clear these just so we can have a little look at the two doors that have opened we go into here and we can see that this is a reward room and with a blaster which I consider an upgrade a natural upgrade from the pistol we then move into the oh I told you they'll always find you they'll always find you in fact a good tactic to deal with them is to enter a room so they track you and then leave and they always follow but there we have so then we come into this room here and we start this loop we introduce to our first eye guard which I don't know how effective the blaster is you know what why are we wasting our time here let's just get this done it doesn't really show the eye guards moves but it does show how he uh, effective the health is and it also creates this tight room to deal with it 
we then come around this corridor we deal with an eye in its naturally powerful habitat which is a corridor because as soon as it it didn't this time but as soon as it throws that block up it can be extremely difficult to deal with again showing advice that snippers are best dealt with on their own and pulling away it introduces us to this battle chamber which we will momentarily either the eye will back out into or which is traditionally what happens nope it hasn't this time and we enter this room now this i advise will be the best place to first use your super which decimates everything uh usually it's not that effective because they see me when the door opens you'll note that the blue door here again still inaccessible so now we continue round. We get into this corridor here, and this introduces us to a corridor with enemies. Now I am going to skip through this just because it can, it can slow us down quite a bit. And there is always the option of just walking around. Now due to the break in the game, uh, unfortunately, you note that these enemies do not register until somebody attacks. Which is bizarre, I'm not sure why this glitch has started to happen. Um, but obviously it would be a lot more difficult for me just to walk through with a lot more deaths. Uh, than if I did. Plus, if I constantly tried to leave rooms, eventually I'd have an army of snippers the size of the terracotta one. So, as we come through here, again, we're reaching our rewards for these rooms. We find the blue key. The more curious, the, the speedier of us will run through that door straight away. The more curious of us might go and investigate this one, which was the opposite side of the reward room before. We find, ooh, a plasma rifle, which I think most of us would pick up, and some additional loot. We leave and enter back into the chamber and now continue our journey through this door. We enter into the small room, again a reward, a checkpoint. As we can see by now that checkpoints indicate sections, the beginning of a section to an end of a section. And we enter into this corridor. Every door in this corridor, bar one, is switch activated, meaning there is only one way for the player to go. The player then has to jump through these slimes, which often puts him on the back foot if he takes damage for the slime he's going to have to enter a room weaker than he intended to. In this room we are introduced to the gun crab as you can see at the back. I am going to make short work of this due to the simple fact that we it's already a long level and we don't have much time. The gun crab will traditionally overwhelm the player and so we put him in freeze. This was to uh, encourage them to shoot a lot. Uh, creating that storm which we should hopefully see the effect of in a second. We then have the Skull Guys, which is the new enemy, which is a basically an advanced melee enemy. It uh, does slightly more damage than a Snipper if it tracks you, which it isn't at the moment. Uh, it does slightly more damage than, uh, than a Snipper, and its effectiveness comes from its jump. It can jump straight at you. Now this is the first mega battle room. You can see that there is a moat, quote unquote, of slime that goes all the way around with an edge of gun crabs. This creates quite a, an intense effect. Now the entire theme for me in this level design is to create intensity. Not that you are constantly going to die or you feel like you're going to die, uh, that you constantly are going to die, but more that you feel like it. So there's a high level of intensity. So when I enter into this room, if it should work how I want it to, but of course the enemy tracking for some reason is not working. You should not be able to just walk into a room. Let's see if we've set off a shot. Oh, they all got angry. Well, they got angry anyway. You can see when they fire all these blue cannons, it starts to create a sheer chaos of a mess, which is almost unavoidable to dodge. I'm going to die here because of that. Now, I was being overly cautious to try and show that effect. Now, let me show you what should have happened uh, if I was playing more normally. We would collect these supers here with a full charge and most likely send a nice big blast to make a big dent, as you can see where all that back wall has disappeared. Boom, big dent. We can now move in. Um, due to trying to record this gameplay uh, just to get it done, uh, and I don't want to take too much of your time, we are uh, putting more, there's about double the amount of supers there would be if the game was to be released to a general public kind of thing. This is just so I can show you quickly these rooms, but also clear them out fairly quickly. Um, the health in the centre of the rooms, again, is to encourage players to go into the centre of the room, not to hide at the edges of a big battle and just pick them off very slowly. As you can see now that we've got a bit of a scattering going on, they're still effective. They're still quite a powerful enemy, these gun crabs, especially considering on death they leave a plasma pool. But now with that health in the centre, it encourages people to come in. It creates a nice sense of chaos, but also if you notice my health bar, it hasn't gone too low at any one point. It's never been to a point where I'm majorly panicking, and if I do, it's a make or break moment. It's that intensity, but it still feels like 
every fight is a... Oh, having said that, you can quite quickly still die if you're not paying attention. But it's the idea that it creates this intensity in every fight, that a fight is always just to the last second. Like, you've got it by the skin of your teeth. It's to create this sort of true intensity to make you feel like a tank, but also to still feel like you are in some risk, that you are at threat. Um, so for this, we've cleared this room now. We can see quite clearly a nice highlighted switch near the door. And that will also not only open us the different sections in this chamber, but continue to reward us, but then also open the next section. So we come through here, well, we know we came through there. We can't get through here yet. We can't get through there, so we must go this way. Now, this leads to the eye chamber, which I am going to, while they, for some reason, are not active, going to just run through. Oh, he got active. As you can see, this creates a lot of shielding eyes and a lot of... I wonder if I can get through here as well. Now, this would be gun crabs. I honestly do not know why they won't attack me unless I shoot. But, oh, no, they, they, no, I tried to be cheeky just to show you what was going on there. But the eye room, as we saw here, which might be actually active now. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Uh, might be actually active now. It is, bugger. Um, you can see how they can heal but also create shields. It is an extremely highly defensive room and should be done. Oh, really? Really? I did not expect. <laughs> I'm trying to be really cheeky and uh, run through all these rooms um, while the game is glitching out just to make this video a lot shorter for you, but unfortunately it's not being effective. Again, I should remind that the supers would be cut by. 50% it is simply just to make this game much more doable uh, for me just so I don't have to focus on fighting I can just show you the elements that we have added in this game um, hopefully this lands now as we can see the next corridor is a single corridor oh no I'm lying to you it's not it's a triple and as we enter through here we enter into crab paradise as I like to call it crab alley um, again, this is just to show an effective of a swarm of enemies, especially snippers, which can quite easily uh, become a problem if swarmed, especially in rooms designed like this, where come on, there we go, where they can, where the slime can become a much bigger problem. As you can see, these snippers, although not much damage is being done, are extremely effective once they start to swarm. We enter into a new Zypers of Enemy, which is a zombie. They're two by two The purpose behind this is so that their main mechanic, that explosion, um, which punishes two eager players who want to run in, um, it introduces it. It's almost impossible to avoid all of these explosions. It will teach you that mechanic. Um, but again, it also teaches a player that is cautious and steady, that it's not too much of a major threat. Hopefully these won't activate and I can just skip through this room. No, I can't. That was foolish to think I could. Um, so I'm going to skip through this now and get to the final section. He says as he tries to jump through. As you can see um, by the sheer amount of damage I'm taking when I do run through, if the enemies are active, there is no way you can just skip a section. You must fight your way through because they will just swarm you and create a death loop. Um, however, for the sheer recording purposes, I am trying to take advantage of the fact that the game is a little bit broken uh, and cheat my way through by running, um, which we can see is also still not very effective. It looks like the eye guard must have leaked into here. He did. Oh, I did not expect that. Now that's really upsetting because if the eye guard gets to those zombies, there could be some serious problems. We'll kill this grenade crab who still doesn't seem to be registering me, even though um, he's moved quite some distance. Again, you can see this room is full of zombies. Again, they're not too difficult to deal with, but again, that over-eager player just moving forward uh, will get hit. Um, you can see how many times I said again in that sentence, just to show. But um, again, there you go, there it is. But as we walk around here, you've got to be really cautious. I could quite easily come in here as they're walking at me, but that explosion over to the side and instantly such a devastating health damage that it can quite easily be the make or break between whether or not you survive an encounter or not. Um, and they're very easy to forget about when you're in a very high intense situation. So after all of this, full super, full health, all the supers lying around, we finally get into this final chamber. We know there's a lot of supers lying around, so we know we're in for a big battle. And then there's this key card. We know that the red door is in front of us, but for some of us who might remember, 
there was a blue hidden door. Now the blue hidden door was just through here. I don't know if I killed these enemies, which could be problematic. But the blue hidden door is just through here. In fact, I'm positive I didn't finish these enemies. Oop, here's the unfinished room. May as well uh, give them a little finish now, since there's not too many, and we've got a bit better weaponry. Damn, that crab was eager with his grenades. Oh, that's because there's one back there. Well, now we've cleared that enemy out, we can go through here and we will discover the hidden red door. This hidden red door grants us a grenade launcher, which is a very exciting weapon, if I do say so myself. I might keep the plasma. And a couple more supers. Now, you can exit through that way which again will just loop you to the other chamber, but because I was lazy early, I've left enemies in those chambers, so I'm just going to run through this way. Where did you come from? In all seriousness, where did you come from? Where did you come from? So as we can see, I'm being tracked down by eyes from somewhere. I'm not 100% sure, and I, I thought I cleared all the enemies out in this room, so that, that was unexpected. That genuinely uh, shouldn't have damaged me in any way, shape, or form. It should have been a quick hop back to get the hidden weapon but uh, it wasn't that way thank god for the health that is just lying around in most places and now we're ready to fight the final room and when we enter this final room we meet carnage now the enemies aren't working as well as we'd like they should be just coming back to attack us now again I'm being cheeky here running back for supers to speed run this um, in this section we really should start to see how effective these enemies are in groups um, but unfortunately uh, the game has been glitching maybe I have made it too big uh, and it's just struggling to handle that I'm not 100% sure there's a little snipper coming out we should be swarmed with those but unfortunately you're not and as we can see we enter into oh am I a buggered up now as you can see instantly I got swarmed with a lot of blue things it looks too messy but again the health in the center it encourages you to run forward and again if you're smart if you're tactical with your timing and you're tactical with your supers Although it feels very intense and that everything's going on everywhere, it also feels like it's something that you can handle. As you notice that although I'm getting hit a lot and panicking about which way to go, my health hasn't actually taken too much of a deep hit, but then you can quite quickly die within several quick hits. So you've really got to keep an eye on where these health symbols are and try and keep an idea of where these blue plasma balls are going, you know, to, to make sure that your path is going to cross some extra health otherwise you will quite quickly find yourself dead the super is by far the most fun ability in the game and I do believe that towards the end when you're fighting all these bosses and all these big enemy types that a, uh, a super just you know a normal gun just doesn't do it does it doesn't make you feel like a tank and the point of this is to feel like you know you're in intent in an intense battle. I need health you're in an intense battle that you are constantly on the edge that there's a huge amount of overwhelming odds against you. It create that adrenaline sort of fast paced shooter game that we're looking for. Right, and now we're on the final enemy type. I've got plenty of supers, as I said uh, earlier in this video. We would like to reduce uh, the supers by 50%, but you imagine me trying to do this room uh, without supers. Um, it would take quite a long time. Uh, it'd be enjoyable, but quite a long time, and it certainly wouldn't be good to watch. It would make this a ridiculously long video. Having completed this room, there is nothing else to do but to go through the final red door with an eye switch. We hit that and there it is, we have it. If we look at the layout quickly, you can start to see the philosophy of what the map building is. We enter into a battle chamber or a central room, we finish a loop and then we get rewarded. We get an introduced to mechanics along this route. We move into the next chamber, we do another loop which actually comes out up here uh, and then that opens the next loop. And that's section two done, and then we move on to section three, which is the heavy battle arena. I uh, hope you've enjoyed my level. Uh, thank you very much for watching.